When you make an arrow for somebody else, it means that the first animal they catch with it belongs to you and you get all the meat. Then they can use the arrow again to catch more meat for themselves. To transform this small, slender arrow into a deadly weapon, an extraordinary natural poison is needed. The tribesmen have to make an exhausting journey deep into the wilderness to harvest the poison. They're looking for this bush, Comiflora africana. To untrained eyes, it has no distinguishing features, but the hunters know that hidden below it lies a deadly secret. Earlier in the year, the leaf beetle laid its eggs on the leaves of this bush. Having eaten their fill, the larvae fell off and buried themselves deep into the dry earth. The hunters must find these small, hard-shelled pupae before they grow into beetles. This shell has kept the grub from dehydrating. It's the soft, fleshy body inside that carries the poison. So lethal is this grub that once applied, the arrowhead needs only to pierce the skin for death to be a certainty. The arrows have now become something like flying hypodermic needles. Shot at close range with fatal consequences, the hunter will allow the animal to escape, certain in the knowledge that it will eventually die. All he has to do is track it to where it finally falls. While the arrows dry, the children are kept at a safe distance. There is no known antidote. The beauty of this system is that the arrow can strike the animal anywhere on its body and still be effective. But it's not as easy as it sounds. Now the reason this arrow is made in several parts is this. If the animal tries to pull it out, that part comes off, leaving the front piece still attached with the poison doing its business. <laughs> 